اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر فرینڈس ویلکم ٹو آئیڈیا فاؤنڈیشن فورم ان ٹو ڈیز لیکچر ٹو ہنڈریڈ ففٹی تھری وی ول splitting of atom splitting of atom to build the universe splitting of atom to build the universe it is 14th issue of the quran and modern sciences related to astrophysics there will be hardly any exaggeration in the claim that the Quranic information regarding the substance the universe is made of is 1400 years ahead, ahead of what science could discover just recently. By the advent of 20th century, science could proudly claim that atom was the ultimate substance of the universe yet neither it knew how atoms interact to become macroscopic objects of the universe nor it knew how huge world of particles and atom contained in itself which were subsequently claimed to be the ultimate building blocks of the universe the quran tells that divisibility of an atom is limitless no limit yet it is strictly disciplined by the divine order ayat 2 of surah ar-raad says allah has erected allah has erected the heavens multiple heavens without pillars that you can see it means the material or the particles holding the heavens are so infinitesimally refined and subtle that they make them transparent yet they ensure amazing strength and consistency it may be a clue of the invisible gravitational force that keeps holding the universe in perfect balance the quran also says that the whole universe was filled with clouds of smoke before the stars and earth were created what was the smoke it was the embryonic plasma preparing to give birth to particles of protons neutrons electrons or their quarks the information revealed in ayat 95 of surah al-anam is the precursor of scientific discoveries of nuclear fusion for nucleosynthesis and fission for nuclear energy note the words of the ayat indeed allah is the splitter of grain and dead seeds he brings the living out of the dead and brings the dead out of the living that is allah so how are you deluded why you are confused these matters will be discussed in some detail now however the verse also gives optimistic view of the demise of a star or a black hole against the pessimistic view given by science death may not be an end rather it may be a harbinger of a new life a larger one indeed it will be a topic of our next lectures dear friends in the context of physics chemistry and biology the quran informed us that everything was initially created as a single entity then all of them were shaped into their respective pairs for progression for progression of their posterities through a unique procreation system for each of them 
huge populations of macroscopic objects as well as microscopic living or non living objects or anything made of matter have the humble singular origin and pair based procreation systems starting from the universe which emerged with the hydrogen as its sole atom which gave birth to helium and such pairing progressed into volume and variety to the present extent present size likewise the man was created from clay as a single entity a female partner was separated from him to make a pair for establishing a system of procreation for prolongation of his posterity the quran has revealed these facts in its several verses some of them are shown on the screen also note each word of ayat 36 of surah yasin which says exalted is he who created all pairs from what the earth grows and from themselves and from that which they do not know mean unknown to man last words of ayat and from that which they don't know indicate possibilities of unknown worlds of the creation some of them are opening up with the evolution of human knowledge of human knowledge meanings of these words together with secrets of the words of ayat 95 of surah al anam indeed allah is the splitter of grain and dead seeds he brings the living out of the dead and brings the dead out of the living that is allah so how are you deluded can now be easily understood by knowing the miraculous discoveries of nucleosynthesis nucleosynthesis photosynthesis and carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen winds and hydro, hydro cycles these are the cycling systems these all tell the story of splitting of atoms and recombinations of subatoms in building new matters and substances thus causing the universe and the life to sustain and expand here is my lord allah the great creator so dear friends fundamental source of energy in the stars is cno or carbon nitrogen and oxygen cycle wherein hydrogen is transformed into helium while the carbon serves as a catalyst like other stars the sun the center of the sun is millions of degree hot where hydrogen atoms are being fused are combined together to form helium atoms this fusion reaction occurs when two atoms are heated splitted torn apart and then compressed with so much intensity that their nuclei merge to become a new element death knell note my words death knell of some atoms is harbinger of birth of new elements empowering the sun with energy and light the same energy and light when come to the earth they cause photosynthesis they cause photosynthesis to happen in photosynthesis sunlight provides the energy that causes a chemical reaction to split apart water into hydrogen and oxygen and synthesizes carbon dioxide into ox oxygen and carbon or energy rich carbohydrates 
to fuel the plant's metabolism. The man meets his carbon needs from plant food. Note Ayat 18 of Surah At-Takweer, which tells how the beginning of daylight starts synthesizing the provisions for plant and human life in the words. And I swear, Allah says, and I swear by the night when it draws in and by the dawn when it breathes, it, it helps to generate oxygen, the source of light. It tells great mystery of nature that we will discuss in some future lecture. Several Quranic verses have foretold the discoveries of photosynthesis and carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, winds and hydrocycles. I may quote here only two of them. Two ayat. Ayat 8 of Surah An-Nahl says, and Allah creates other things you do not know. Who was aware about new cleosynthesis and photosynthesis 1400 years ago? So, those are things you do not know. You did not know. And there might be many things those we are not aware of. Ayat 5 of Surah al jasiya says, and in the alternation of night and day, and in what Allah sends down from the sky of provision and gives life thereby to the earth after its lifelessness, and in his directing of the winds are signs for people who reason. So dear friends, the process of splitting and recombination of atoms and subatoms, subatomic particles through various recycling system, nucleosynthesis and photosynthesis establish life, death, life recycling nature of the universe, its expansion and also sustainability of all types of life. Elements of matter are so unevenly, not evenly, unevenly distributed in the universe, earth, human body, animals and plants that life would have become impossible to exist if not supported by the recycling and sharing system set by the divine order. Please have a look on the table displayed on the screen showing uneven distribution of elements in the universe. The universe on the whole comprises of 90% hydrogen and almost 10% helium atoms. The Milky Way galaxy contains 74% of hydrogen elements whereas the earth is endowed with hydrogen by only 0.14% just very small portion of 1% whereas hum, human body requires 10% of its total mass. It is an unevenness. Oxygen makes up 29.5% of the earth while human need is 61% of his body. It either lies the oxygen. The oxygen either lies in combination with other elements or it is partially derived through photosynthesis, photosynthetic split, splitting of water, not directly but through the photosynthetic process. Iron's overall share in the earth is 34.6 percent while need of the human is only 0.006 percent, 6 out of 1000 of the body mass. However, its abundance in the core of the earth, in the center of the earth establishes Van Allen belts in the atmosphere to provide the earth 
a protective shield against the invasions against the you know a bombardment of celestial giants carbon is 23% of the human body second highest percentage while it is about 0.1% of the earth mass it is amazing to note that human body is still provided with adequate measures of deficient elements by way of photosynthesis and recycling systems we obtain oxygen from the air we breathe and the water we drink we also obtain hydrogen from water although carbon is extremely scarce on the earth but it is present in atmosphere as carbon dioxide and also the nitrogen is about 80% of the atmosphere through photosynthesis through photosynthesis plants take take in carbon dioxide from the air and give off oxygen to support life animal life human life thus we obtain carbon and nitrogen from the plants based food and not from the air we breathe it is the way photosynthesis and recycling systems split some elements break down some elements and fuse them to give birth to some other elements this is making and breaking so dear friends creation expansion and sustainability of the universe is thus the story of splitting and recombination of atoms and subatomic particles ayat 95 of surah al anam we quoted earlier gives advance information of scientific discoveries of nuclear fusion for new nucleosynthesis and fission for nuclear energy have a look on the ayat 95 shown on the screen terms faliku means splitter splitter al hab grain and al nawa dead seeds indicate splitting of atoms in science terminology al nawa means nucleus center atomic nucleus the statement bringing the living out of the dead and bringing the dead out of the living may be interpreted as creation of matter from energy and energy from matter which may which may be a clue to nuclear fission albert einstein found in 20th century that matter could be converted into energy which means that the two are interrelated at the atomic level envisioned by einstein's theory einstein's theory his successors success, succeeding scientists started obtaining energy from matter in 1940s by means of nuclear fission the process of splitting the atomic nucleus Thus the word faliku in Arabic. Thus the word faliku in the ayat referred above may be a reference to the process of splitting the atoms nucleus. Splitting the atoms nucleus or nuclear fission to obtain atomic energy. This information may therefore be a precursor of nuclear fission. discovery made by science in 20th century it may be a clue to big bang explosion from a tiny hydrogen atom currently known as nucleosynthesis process so dear friends physics today tells that everything of the universe can be traced back to its initial atoms or their subatomic constituents which still retain their unique properties manifested in their macroscopic successors 
being the building blocks of the universe they are governed by the four fundamental forces at all levels an atom has an atomic nucleus made of protons and neutrons orbited by a number of electrons equal to the number of protons the number of protons in an atomic nucleus tells the type of an element hydrogen the first element had an atomic nucleus holding only one proton and one electron no neutron helium second most abundant element took birth from hydrogen atoms through nucleosynthesis process in the sun its nucleus holds two protons and two neutrons orbited by two electrons then the story of splitting collapse collision and fusion recombination of subatomic particles went through the history of the universe that caused multiplication and diversification of elements thus every atom with its unique number of positively charged protons and its nucleus and its orbiting negatively charged electrons is potent to interact with other atoms to form a unique set of bonds leading to unlimited sets of possibilities for the types of elements molecules salts and larger structures primarily it is the electromagnetic interaction under which subatomic particles of the atoms exert forces on one another leading to formation of macroscopic structures we observe on the earth or throughout the universe this process is known as nucleosynthesis efforts to trace origin and progression of the chemical elements have a long history however some credible success could be made just in the 20th century recent past though science could suggest by 1970 that lighter elements such as hydrogen helium and lithium were formed just after the big bang while heavier elements such as carbon nickel and iron were formed in the heavier stars much later yet the story of the nucleosynthesis nucleosynthesis did not end here the debate on the probable process probable process responsible for creation of much heavier elements such as uranium platinum and gold could be settled just in 2017 just 6 7 years back so this is all work in process <clears throat> nothing final all is work in process so dear friends a list of ayat related to this lecture uh, is displayed on the screen which may be consulted for more intensive study with this we conclude our discussion under lecture 253 please subscribe idea foundation youtube channel to watch videos of previous lectures and join us for this noble cause thank you friends for participation allah hafiz